How's it going? This is Brendan from Brenlix Media. This is gonna be a super cool video actually. I know that I always say it, but maybe because my videos are, are actually super cool. Uh, but jokes aside, I'm gonna show you something uh, very interesting because I'm gonna pull down the curtains and show you a business that is doing 500K per month, actually over $500,000 a month in revenue. And they're generating 31% um, of revenue from email marketing alone. And in this video, I wanna bring you through the exact same process, structure, strategy, amount of emails, flows, campaigns that they are utilizing and, and using within their business, right? That is generating them 31% of revenue just from email and SMS marketing, which is you know a pretty high number. Um, typically, it's it's typically businesses have below 20% just because they don't know exactly what, what to use. So I'm gonna show you everything, pull down the curtains, so make sure to stick until the end, and with no further ado, as usual, let's get right into the video. As usual, here's the proof. Uh, as you can see, they're doing $487,000 uh, in a single month in the last 30 days, and $150,000, almost $151,000, is purely coming from Clavio, which is email, uh, email marketing. And, um, and actually, they're not even doing SMS marketing. I'm, I'm gonna tell them exactly after this video. Um, but they're just doing email marketing and, and that's what's coming from um, uh, from Clavio alone. And that's 30.94%, almost 31% of the revenue, which is insane, is coming from email marketing. So this is the proof. Um, but just so you know, if you're doing 20%, you're doing good. 25, you're doing great. 30%, you're doing amazing, right? So I'm showing you probably the best of the best of the scenarios. They just have a great and perfect infrastructure and it's work, working amazingly for them. Note that if you're doing over 30%, like over, like I would say if you're doing like 40, 45%, 50%, 60% of, of your uh, revenue is just purely coming from email marketing, it probably means that you're not spending enough on the front end and getting sales outside of this email marketing infrastructure or ecosystem, right? So if you're doing way above that, way above this, then it means that your, your front end is probably lacking in opportunities, right? You should do more there. But this is a, a perfect example because this company is spending 100, I, th I think $150,000, $150,000 a, a month approximately just on ads. Okay, so they're spending a lot and they're doing a lot of email marketing revenue. Uh, 31%. So this is the proof. Let me refresh, whatever. So you know this is real. And uh, voila. There we go. Now that number increased for some reason because maybe we're getting sales. <laughs> Probably. Um, cool. Amazing. So uh, let's get into this diagram. This is, this is an, an amazing asset, which by the way, I only and only give uh, this asset. They're probably going to get mad to be honest to my private community. It's only $49 a month. I share all, you get access to my time. I answer questions. You get access to all of the resources that my agency uses, including this. And what, I'm, what I'll do is that I'm gonna go through this, right? But if we get to, uh, I think the, the most likes I ever got in a video is like a thousand. If we get to 1,500 likes uh, on this video, I'm just gonna share this with you, okay? I'm gonna share this completely free um, and, and give it out to everyone. And, um, but yeah, so let's go over this, this diagram very quickly, okay? I don't wanna go too, too much in depth because then it's, it's gonna take me two hours to do this video, uh, but I'm gonna go pretty in depth and show you kind of like what you need, okay? So let's start by talking about the entire um, sales journey, okay? This is the, the customer funnel. People visit your website, they view your product, they add to cart, they proceed to checkout, they make a purchase, okay? And these, um, these sections over here that are outside of the sales process is where your email marketing can come into action and come into play, okay? And, and this is where you have your site abandonment, your browse abandonment, your abandoned cart, like the pre-purchase, right? While people are purchasing. And then you have your post-purchase sequences, right? Right after like the customer thank you is a post-purchase and then they're nurturing, which is everything that comes after they purchase the product, right? So this is something that you should understand. If you don't understand this, it doesn't make sense to go over anything else that I'm gonna go over in, in the future in, the, in this video. But make sure that you understand this scenario. It's very simple. There's a sales journey and you use email marketing to 
get subscribers on a pre-purchase and a post-purchase to make sure they come back and buy more, right? Um, so this is how it works. Just to show you um, a 30,000 uh, foot view from the top, there's pre-purchase flows, right? First of all, there's two things, flows and campaigns. We're gonna go over both, right? Best practices. There's pre-purchase flows and post-purchase flows, and then there's campaigns. We're gonna go over a couple scenarios. Uh, but, and this, by the way, um, this is pretty much, I would say, to a T, uh, exactly what this other business is doing, okay? So they have a bunch of flows, they have a bunch of campaigns, and, and this is just a, a visual representation of how I would uh, start we also, by the way, have an email marketing division that just does this, and they literally utilize this exact same diagram. In fact, this diagram comes from my email marketer, the person that is running everything. And let's go over pre-purchase uh, pre flows, okay? So, first of all, this is really, really important. A lot of people forget that pre, a lot of people think that pre-purchase is just like abandoned cart. It's actually not. There's so many different uh, pre-purchase flows that you can implement. And a lot of people either do abandoned cart or abandoned checkout. They, they think that this, that's enough and that's all you can do with email marketing. That's actually not true at all. So let's start with the first one. There's a welcome series. Um, sign, signs up to pop up, right? This is, by the way, this is like the most important flow. Um, I believe this client alone is generating like a hefty amount uh, if that's even a word, uh, a big, big, serious amount uh, of their email marketing revenue is coming from this flow, the welcome series, which is typically traditionally you can you can say that it's one of the longest. This, by the way, depending on the niche, this can go up to like a full year, so like 30 emails, 50 emails, 60 emails. For most scenarios, seven to 10 emails is a good amount. Okay, and typically like. The, the brands that have a very long flow are like the supplement brands, like very heavy informational brands where you need to share value, talk about science, talk about ingredients. Like that's where you need to really nurture people and, and why the, the sequences are so long. In this scenario, if you have a normal product, right, doesn't need too much explanation, seven to 10 emails in the week, uh, welcome series is more than enough. And we, we don't, we're probably gonna add this, but we don't have like time frames. but this is, uh, you know, between two and five days, Business days, I would say between one email and another, is a, is a good is a good um, time frame. And so these are people that sign up. What do we what do we want to do to sign up? Give people a free product. Say, hey, if you sign up, you can get access to our. You can immediately enter our uh, monthly giveaway where we give out one product a day. I don't know, 30, 30 products a month. Enter. And you can and you can join. That does amazingly if you have multiple products in your store. If you just have one product and you don't want to offer it for free, if you're doing like a one product uh, type of store and you don't have a lot of products, then you can do maybe like a 10% discount, like most most people do. That works perfectly. Or you can sell an ebook. You can do like an ebook that provides value, seven steps to X Y Z, and that's also has amazing open rates and it's quick to deliver and it's uh, it's free, it's completely free for you. You don't have to give out 10% of your of your revenue, right, for, for discounts, which I absolutely hate, to be honest. So this is the first flow. Second flow here, really important, site abandonment. People that go and sign up here and on in the pop-up and they browse and they go through the site, right, not browse, sorry, uh, no, this is browse abandonment, so like site abandonment. They just go into your site, they give uh, you their email and they just go over, uh, away, you can literally um, design and launch a specific automation that is just for visitors. And a lot of people don't know that. You can literally do this. So visits sites, but doesn't view product. So this is how the, the, you know, the, the, um, the automation looks like. The first email can be like, we saw you, you checking us out. And then there's a CTA. The goal is to bring them one step down the funnel, right? From site to viewing product, to then eventually further down the funnel. Email two is, you know, benefits maybe of the product. Uh, somebody's calling me, Matteo, what's up? Um, then USP, bear with me. Uh, benefits, uh, then uh, recommended bestsellers. Okay, so this is just a way, it's it's not hard promotion. There's no need to do like a very hefty and hard promotion. They're just getting an understanding of, of if, if they even wanna, wanna purchase from you. So this is the site abandonment. Now notice as these are uh, kind of color coded, so blue is like light, 
then green is kind of like more heavy promotion then orange is heavier and then red is where we really want to go after the urgency and the scarcity and this will all make sense in just a second browse abandonment views product but doesn't add to cart and this is where we go after reminding about you know reminder about viewed product then email to us mention usp of the product they viewed like the the benefits the features then you can offer like an incentive like typically a 10 12 15 percent discount that works super well and then you can handle maybe most uh, common objections why do we want to handle objections because we know that they viewed the product and they didn't buy right there's no point of handling objections here when they haven't seen the product yet right doesn't view product it only ma makes sense if you do it here right so th this is a very simple process abandoned cart it starts to get a little warmer right so this is where you have maybe one extra email actually there, there, there are four three to four typically works uh, reminder about product that left in the cart right you typically have you know we can only hold on to your cart for so long so you're adding you start adding a little urgency and scarcity to your uh, to your offer then email two is offer incentive same thing social proof you want to get them through the funnel and say look and it worked for other people you should do the same and then there's an urgency factor and then we add like 24 hours left to claim the offer. And then here in email three, maybe you also want, you know, social proof. I mean, like reviews and testimonials, UGC content within your emails work super, super well. And, and this, is, um, this is how it works in the abandoned cart. Now let's move over, over to the hottest phase, the abandoned checkout. Adds the checkout, but doesn't purchase. Four emails, same infrastructure, same structure. Remind about the product and checkout, right? We don't know how long they'll stay in stock say something like this, add urgency. Once again, reduce risk for purchasing, why our products are trusted, right? Specific reviews about products and checkout, increase perceived chance of success with the, uh, with the purchase, right? Number four, offer an, incent an incentive, introduce urgency. This is like the final stage, like we have to do everything that we can to make sure that they go over uh, that uh, step in the funnel and they actually purchase. Let me know if you have any questions about this in particular, but this is, in my uh, opinion, like the most interesting. This is where you get mo um, the most money, where uh, most of your revenue is going to come from. Um, people to convince people to buy. This is where it, you know the entire ecosystem operates under. If you don't have this, then you don't have the post, right? So let's talk about first uh, post purchase flows. There is customer thank you immediately after they buy. We want to welcome people into a community, right? We don't want to just do nothing, you know, there's the worst thing you can do is just have them receive the Shopify confirmation, you received your order and then nothing happens. You want to make sure that you're following them until they get their product. Because once again, people decide to buy from brands also because of the experience, right? And the support, right? If you don't provide that, then it's, it's no good, right? It's no good. So email one, thank, uh, thank them, offer VIP for third time purchasers, um, remove buyer remorse, right? There's always going to be a buyer remorse. If I buy the product today and I don't receive like emails within the, the next three, four, five days or whatever to update me about the shipment, the delivery, whatever, I'm going to have buyer remorse. I might charge back. I might, you know, call and panic or whatever, hire tickets. Right? If you don't do the sequence, you're gonna have higher tickets and then your customer support team is gonna go crazy. So make sure you have these automations. Number four, show how to use the product. Educate, number five, if relevant, offer upsells. Ask for a review. If it exists, offer a, a, a referral system. And this is kind of like a flywheel effect. We wanna do this uh, for a sequence, right? Uh, obviously, this is not immediately after they buy the product it's throughout the journey of buying the product so of course we're not going to offer a referral system right after the buy they have to try the product first validate that it works for them that they're satisfied and then you can worry about doing you know things like this but once again stop through the video and and feel free to stop through the video to look at each sequence um Customer win back, this is a, an interesting one, hasn't purchased in 90 days. We typically do between 90 and 120. 90 is better in my opinion, since last purchase. So we wanna get them back into the funnel and this is purely dedicated to having um, them buy more of the same product, right? Or uh, a different product, an upsell, a cross sell, a downsell, right? As you can see here, 
best sellers offer an incentive we haven't heard back from you urgency right these are the things that we want to add um, to get to make sure that people come back and you win the customer back again right so sunset engage uh, engage this is an interesting one for people that haven't opened an email in the last 180 days so these are like kind of coldish people um, and so um, this is kind of like a, a four email sequence you know haven't heard from them still haven't heard from them this is what we stand for we'll go ahead and, and unsubscribe you like this is where you're like okay if you don't want to hear about uh, about us anymore we can just unsubscribe and this and then here you can add some social proof you can do anything that you can to make sure that they come back into the funnel and they gain interest in your brand but if they are not interested this is a perfect scenario of a campaign that allows you to understand who is not engaging with your brand and just let them go because you don't want to send um, a bunch of emails to people that are just not interested it's also just gonna hurt your domain if they mark you as a spam or unsub they just unsubscribe it's gonna hurt your deliver deliverability and domain so we always want to segment these are very well segmented automations VIP flow VIP flow uh, they make their third purchase and become VIP so if they purchase three times they're like hot um, hot customers and so this is where you know they have special um, you can go ahead and add special deals for them, special bundles, special offers. You got to treat, treat them well. And these are like your customers that are very engaged. So I would also maybe do more than three emails um, just to make sure that you keep that engagement as, as high as possible. But yeah, in this example, we have three. Talk about VAP perks, what happens when they become VAP customers, uh, incentive reminder. And also, once again, if you have that referral system, these people are amazing because they're loyal. They purchased three times from you, right? Or yeah, their third purchase. And so they're ready to refer, um, you know, refer you to their friends and family. Okay, so this is overall uh, the infrastructure post pre-purchase. This is the, the, the flow of the journey, as I said before. And these are just some email campaigns, just to give you some, uh, some ideas, right? Email campaigns, how many do you have to send? This is a, a question that I receive every single time. Is it one a week? Is it once a month? We typically do between one and two. Uh, when If you're starting out one, one a week works, eventually go to two, sometimes even three times a week. The most important thing here is that you segment, right? You don't wanna send all these emails, like you gotta segment these. If you don't segment these, then, <laughs> then as soon as you send an email campaign, it's gonna, like people are just gonna go crazy. So when you send also email campaigns, make sure to segment your list. Because if you send an email campaign to somebody that doesn't, you know, un un want to hear uh, what you're about to say or like read your email, then they're going to unsubscribe and the same thing is going to happen. Your email deliverability is going to go down. So segment, okay? So these are just some ideas. Product launch, current events, testimonials, case studies, uh, bundle email, right? If you're doing a special bundle, blog post. These I love because the more you go with informational-based emails, the higher the chance that people are actually excited to read your next email because they're consuming your content and they're interested, right? And so I always like to say, if we're sending two to three emails, uh, email campaigns per week, we better provide value because if we don't provide value, people will just mark you as spam and the same thing is gonna happen as before. They're just gonna unsubscribe. So I'd like to do 80% value and 20% promotion, okay? If you do more than 20% promotion, people are gonna feel it. So you gotta take a step back. If there's a sale, right, this is the 20% that I was talking about. Um, breaking myths, honestly, yeah, I'm not sure what this is. It's like maybe myths of the, um, I gotta ask my email marketer. Um, tips, emails, holidays, like listicle mail, uh, sharing blog posts, listicles, articles, collection feature, uh, educational content, review campaign, giveaway, the villain email, I'm not sure what this is, I have to ask. Um, FAQ uh, mail and newsletter. Once again, I haven't built this. I have a team that does this for me, but I'm just showing you the entire email marketing infrastructure uh, that most of my clients do to get results like this, okay? And this is the most important thing. Now, once again, I, I'm gonna, let me know if you have questions on the YouTube uh, comments underneath, but I'm gonna share this, um, this PDF uh, type of Figma file if we get to 1,500 likes, this is typically something that I have only for my Discord community, even if it's like only $50 a month. I give all of this away. 
but if we get to 1,500 likes, I'm gonna share everything with you so that you can uh, you can have it and you can you know study it yourself without having to scroll through my video all the time. Okay, let me know if you have any, if you have any questions and uh, with no further ado, we're done and see you in the next video. Bye.